to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital city. The Middle East is a region rich with culture, spirit, and history. Its people are brilliant, proud, and diverse, vibrant, and strong. But the incredible future awaiting this region is held at bay by bloodshed, ignorance, and terror. Vice President Pence will travel to the region in the coming days to reaffirm our commitment to work with partners throughout the Middle East to defeat radicalism that threatens the hopes and dreams of future generations. It is time for the many who desire peace to expel the extremists from their midst. It is time for all civilized nations and people to respond to disagreement with reasoned debate, not violence. And it is time for young and moderate voices all across the Middle East to claim for themselves a bright and beautiful future. So today, let us rededicate ourselves to a path of mutual understanding and respect. Let us rethink old assumptions and open our hearts and minds to possible and possibilities. And finally, I ask the leaders of the region, political and religious, Israeli and Palestinian, Jewish and Christian and Muslim, to join us in the noble quest for lasting peace. Thank you. God bless you, God bless Israel, God bless the Palestinians, and God bless the United States. Thank you very much. Thank you. As you can probably see, clashes and civil unrest have broken out here in the West Bank. We are on the outskirts of the Palestinian city of Ramallah. These protesters have begun uh, setting fires. They're burning tires to create a smoke screen, and they are throwing stones and other debris. It's difficult to see, but behind this smoke are Israeli troops, and they have been firing volleys of tear gas occasionally to drive the demonstrators back. All these protesters say they are here for one reason, because Palestinians, they say, will not give up on their right to Jerusalem, no matter what President Trump says. In a day of rage, Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza Strip express their outrage, frustration, and sense of betrayal by the United States. Demonstrations quickly led to clashes with Israeli troops, anger boiling over. Palestinians had been promised for years in international negotiations that Jerusalem's final status would be settled through diplomacy, only to see President Trump reverse decades of U.S. policy and recognize Israel's claim that the city is its capital. I have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. After he said that, Palestinians switched off the lights on the Christmas tree in Bethlehem's manger square. This morning, more passive resistance. Palestinians closed their shops across Jerusalem in a general strike. We're here today. We're condemning the, um, the American President Donald Trump decision uh, by declaring Jerusalem as the state of Israel. A profound shift appears to be underway. Nearly 25 years ago, President Clinton brought Israeli and Palestinian leaders together for the Oslo Accords, with the U.S. as moderator-in-chief. Now, many Palestinians say that peace process is over, that President Trump killed it when his administration took sides on the most fundamental and emotional division in the region, the status of Jerusalem. Israel is on high alert. Security officials warn violence could escalate, but say they can handle whatever comes next. Israelis say the peace process wasn't working anyway. For there is no peace that doesn't include Jerusalem as the capital of the state of Israel. Israelis thanked President Trump for accepting their historic claim to Jerusalem, despite warnings from across Europe and from some of Washington's closest allies that the move puts peace in the Middle East at risk. 
And the clashes here do not seem to be letting up. If anything, there are intensifying. More people are arriving. They are bringing in more stones. And it is not just here. There are several locations in the West Bank that look just like this right now. It is the most, uh, the largest scale violence we've seen in this part of the West Bank in several years. Back to you. All right, Richard. Richard Engel, uh, stay safe there. Yeah. Mm -hmm.